Hi, and welcome to Miss Matthews's Littlest Classroom. This is the third video in our beginner series for the updated plan book website. In the first video, we walked through adding a new school year, and in the second, we added no school days and events. Today, we're going to learn how to add classes. Let's get started. Creating classes is basically creating a timetable with days and times where the classes will appear. When you're done, it should look something like this. Okay, move your cursor over to the left navigation panel. Slide down and click Classes. Then click on Add Class. Type in your class name. Let's start with Language Arts. I like to color code my classes and to do that, you click on this little palette icon to select your color. You can also move the dot around for more specific colors or put in a hex code for a specific color too. Next, we're going to click on the three dots and select More Options. This screen is where we customize the class. If your class starts on the first day of your school year, you can leave the Use School Start selected. But if that class doesn't start right away, you can change the date by clicking on the box and use the Calendar Date Picker to pick your first day of classes. This is also true for the Use School End. There's an option to change your lesson layout, which we're not going to touch on here, but just know that how your lessons are formatted can be adjusted to simpler and more comprehensive layouts. This next section is for collaboration. We aren't going to touch on this either, but you can collaborate with other teachers and adjust the settings. I could be wrong, but I believe this is something that your admin will need to adjust on their end too, but it is available. The next section is the important stuff. This is where you set the times and days that this class happens. First, you need to select the frequency. You have three options here, daily, daily same time, or custom. For the classes that are daily at the same time, you're gonna select daily same time, and you're gonna put in your start time and your end time. You can use the time picker or type in your times. Next, there's the option to remove days that you know you're not gonna have this class, and you can connect this class to Google Classroom. And down here, you can add a description for this class. When you're done, scroll up and click the check mark to save. Now you'll see your LA class in what I think of as a timetable view. If you go over to the left navigation panel and select plans, you'll also see your new class there too. When I'm building my timetable, I also add in other parts of the day, like the routines. This helps when you need to make sub plans later. So I'll add another class and name it bus and student arrival. I'll select the palette and change the color, then select the three dots and more options. At the top here, you can see two options, teaching and non-teaching. This distinction allows for a clearer overview of how instructional time is allocated versus time on non-instructional activities, and for time management, tracking instructional hours, planning prep time effectively. This is a non-teaching class, so I selected that, and then I adjust the frequency to daily at the same time, and add in my start and end times. Then click the check mark to save. I'm just going to continue building my timetable and speed this part up until I get to a class that needs a custom frequency. Okay, for my daily morning check-ins, I'm going to do a custom frequency so that on Wednesdays, this starts 10 minutes later. Hover over the class you want to change, click on Edit. Go down and click on Edit Schedule. In the pop-up window, you can edit when you'd like the change to start. Today, class start date or another date. Then click Skip. Now we're going to adjust the start time and end time on the Monday. Then click on the clipboard icon to copy to the other days. Then adjust Wednesday to specifically start 10 minutes later. Then go back up and click on the check mark to save. And that's it. Continue to do this for the remainder of your classes. Great job, people. In my next video, we'll create templates. Using templates is a time saver for things that you do daily. It's a set it and forget it, and it comes in handy for sub plans. Click subscribe to get notified when I upload the next one. As always, happy teaching.